the community where we live, it's not a very nice community. Okay. And there's an awful lot of drug taking going on where we live. Wash shops. There's no food shops to go to, really. There's two. Sainsbury's in Iceland, just about. We haven't got a good selection. Plenty of clothes shops, which we don't really need. We need more food, food stores, I think. How long have you been living in Middlesbrough? 44 years. All your life? Yeah. In 2007, Middlesbrough has been declared the worst place to live in the UK by the Channel 4 show Location, Location, Location. What are the arguments? The lifestyle of the citizens, health problems and crime are said to have brought discredit to the city. Is the verdict objective after all? And have there been changes lately that improve the quality of life in Middlesbrough? The list from location, location, location is something of a... It's a falsehood. It's an invention for entertainment and for television purposes. Um, and somebody has to be at the bottom of that list as the worst place to, to, to live in the country. Um, on this occasion it was Middlesbrough. It's certainly not justified in any real terms. There's, there's no way that you could say that Middlesbrough is the worst place. It's quite remarkable that last year it was rated number six. Since then vast amounts of, of redevelopment have taken place, huge regeneration of which MEMA, the, the art gallery, is certainly part of that. And yet within the space of the year when all of that great work is happening, it goes down to, to being the worst place rather than the sixth worst place. That simply does not add up, it, it can't be the case. So no, it's not justified, but at the end of the day, it's television, it's, it's entertainment, and like so much on television, it's pure fiction, I'm afraid. I think we all supported the town in, in, in very different ways. We, we explained to people publicly that, that it simply wasn't true, that many of the statistics that we used and, and a lot of the figures were either out of date, untrue, or really invented. We got an amazing amount of support, not just from people within the town who, who, were, who were insulted by this, this dreadful programme, uh, but by many people from, from Middlesbrough who lived in, in, in the, rest of the, the rest of the country, in fact all over the world, who, who got together and, uh, and, and, and really slated the programme makers rather than, rather than the town. Uh, we're still waiting for a final reply from them and for, and for an apology. Mm -hmm. uh, we've explained to them the many ways in which they went wrong. Uh, we've proved to them that many of their statistics were wrong uh, and we're still waiting for that apology and we will continue to ask for it until we get it. According to the British Crime Survey, the rates of burglary and vehicle theft in the North East region were lower than the England and Wales average in 2006 and 2007, while the rate of violent crime was not significantly different from the national average. The rates for burglary decreased in the North East in the last two years. The university complex has, has grown enormously. Uh, in two or three years' time, there'll be 25,000 university students in, in Middlesbrough, and that has a, a huge effect on the place. Um, there have been quite a number of splendid new buildings built, not only at the university, but the art gallery. And uh, although MEMA has only been open for not much more than a year, in reality, in, in some senses, it's been open for three years since it was planned. Uh, there's been a lot of work going on in schools and communities, who now accept that it is normal to have, a, to have an international class gallery to go to. It's very important to us to attract school children to, to MEMA. We will usually have several groups of school children in every day um, as part of organised school visits. In that way we're offering a great resource to, to schools in the area of being able to take their children out of the school itself and, and give them a more a fresher, more engaging experience. I, I think, I think that, that, that link with everyday life rather than just having a, you know, a, a lovely building with some art in it is, is, is a very different sort of thing. Some council funding went towards it, something from the Arts Council and something from the, from the region as well. So the, the whole project was over £20 million for the square and, and the gallery itself. It does change the culture of the place in, in more senses than one. We've had a tremendous amount of international attention. It was helped enormously by our recent Bauhaus exhibition, of course. For that show, we had journalists coming over from China, uh, from a Beijing news agency, from a Moscow news agency, from Italy, from Germany, from Spain, but also from sometimes from the other side of the world. That does mean that when you write to an international artist and say, we've got a brand new gallery in Middlesbrough, they're not going to say, well, why isn't it in London? They're just going to say, oh, OK, Middlesbrough, I've never heard of that, but it's got a good gallery, it must be a good place to go to. And that does mean that we're attracting quite easily a lot of people. Add to that the 
ease with which people can get to Tees Valley Airport or to Newcastle Airport. They can fly over here from, from Berlin, from Amsterdam, from Copenhagen, and can probably be here quicker than traveling up from Devon or, or even London sometimes. We're currently in the retail quarter of Middlesbrough. To my left, we see the Mall of Middlesbrough and the big BHS. To my right, Topman, and behind me, Corporate Road. We're going to try to find out what the citizens of Middlesbrough think about the city and its shopping opportunities. I think it's really good. Um, I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. I've just joined the university again for the second time. It's a nice atmosphere, very friendly, and um, people are great around here. Especially when you go out in Middlesbrough, it's always, you see lots of good things. I don't know, I don't come out here. <laughs> it's full of chaffs. <laughs> no, no, it's very good. I'm going out at night, obviously. Uh, it's very good, you know, you've got places like all types of music you want. Anything you want, really, any type of music you want, you can get it down south. Where do you like to go normally? Um, Thursday night, go to Corner House. Friday night, two more. Saturday night, Onyx. Sunday night, Onyx. Monday night, The Crown. That's just my weekend then. A great deal of a town's image is its vision. An appealing environment would naturally attract people to settle in a community. Middlesbrough Council is well aware of that and is currently undertaking huge housing regeneration. Maybe if they'd come and produced this programme here ten years ago, we might not have shouted quite so loud because there wasn't, there wasn't as much going on then. But uh, in the last five years, certainly there's, there's been huge changes in the place. There's, there's, there's upwards of £90 million pounds being spent on, on houses where people live which is something the programme is supposed to be about, but managed to ignore. We, we were losing population over the last 30 or 40 years quite, quite rapidly. I think in the last two years, there's been a reverse in that, and, and we've certainly held on to the same sort of numbers and probably uh, they're starting to increase now. So there are quite a lot of different housing developments all, all around the town, and some of the older terrace houses are going to go up and, and be replaced by something more aspirational, more appropriate. Um, MEMA is part of the Middlesbrough Council's regeneration policy, so it is about changing the area, improving the area, and certainly the fact that Middlesbrough has reputations that allows it to be picked on by people like Location, 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 uh, was one of the motivating factors for, one, for us wanting to say, well if that's what people think about Middlesbrough, let's show them what it really is capable and what it really can do and the type of cultural venues that it actually can sustain. That together with the, the revival of the industry of the area, most of which is not in Middlesbrough but, but close by, uh, the chemical industry is revived, there are many more jobs there than there were five years ago, many more jobs in the town centre than, than there were a few years ago. So it's, it's not all perfect yet, there's a long, long way to go. So you know, the, the programme has one or two things right, we, we have a long way to go. But uh, this is not a basket to case of a town. This is somewhere that knows where it's going and, uh, and is getting there now. So we're quite proud of what's happened in, in, in the last few years. This leaves us to hope that the media, and more importantly, the citizens, will appreciate the efforts of Middlesbrough Council and the reputation of the town will improve.